What is going on guys? I have a 6-2 customer states check engine light is on and runs roughed in reduced power. Let's find out what that is and let's go for a 6-2 ride. Alright guys, let's go. All right, here we go. I haven't gone out to it at all. This is, uh, I don't get a lot of 6.2s, and I know a lot of guys have been asking for some 6.2 content, so I wanted to take advantage of the situation and make a quick video. All right, we have that many miles. Let's turn the radio off. Do we have a check engine light? We have a check engine light. Ooh, we got a hill start assist and a wrench. They will not they were not complaining of that all right well let's get this thing in here and see what the heck is going on let me know in the comments if you guys like 6-2 content i know uh, a bunch of guys out there wanted some some gas content make sure to to hit that like and subscribe for more super duty content it should be super duty tech talk with a rod i gotta cover all super duties whether they're gas or diesel but we're gonna get this thing pulled in it is definitely running rough and it is in reduced power for sure i got very poor throttle response right now all right let's get ids in this thing and see what Ooh, it is running really bad really bad my go-to things right away is going to grab IDS and my VCM. Can't do anything without having that. But the other alternative for you guys that do not have this is obviously Forescan. That is another must if you have a Super Duty for that matter. All right, OBD connection. Key is on. Let's see what we got. All right, you know we're good when we got the red VCM. All right, here we go. Connecting. Connected. Yes, that is uh, what we're working on. Is it correct? Yes or no? I'll have to be honest. I really, I don't get a lot of 6.2 stuff in. They have been pretty damn good, although I have done the most repairs for 6.2s have been valve springs. I don't really get evap problems. I get the occasional manifold. I, I don't get a lot of them, but uh, the 6.2 studs on the uh, cylinder head manifold connections are, are way uh, bigger than, like, let's say a 5.4 or, or 6.8. So, for the most part, they're pretty good workhorses. But uh, we're going to have to see what codes we have in here. I, I don't know. I think I'm going to go ahead and do a continuous memory self test first because I have something with the inner vehicle dynamics going on and uh, something with the check engine light, uh, not just specific to one thing. But let's see what we got going on. All right, what do we got? Survey says, let's look at all these codes. Dang, we got a whole crap ton. All right, we got ABS. Invalid data received from the ECM PCM. Let me move it over so you guys can see. 401 again, APS. Control module input power C. Another battery voltage. BCM. Okay, so that's probably uh, when the plow wiring is hooked up. Plow wiring, I bet. BCM, left low beam. Yeah, this is all for the plow wiring. Let's see. FCIM. Left temperature damper motor what do we got over here okay throttle position tp got another tp code ignition coil primary c circuit open okay totally weird and a tack motor so throttle body motor uh let's see cylinder a b c so cylinder number three, we're going to be looking at the ignition coil uh, connection. Let's go take a look right now. Pop this hood. 
Let's see what's going on. This is definitely a work truck, so it's always being used. I don't know if we're going to see uh, some rodent damage or anything, but it's we could. Oh, I think we might have found our problem. Let me get some lights on here. Hold on. Get my gloves and light and my step stool. I forgot to tell you, this is a 2017 with that many miles on it that you saw on the cluster, but look at what we have over here. Big nest. We're going to be, oh wow. Oh wow. Look at that. We got some, we got some, uh, we got some stuff here. Let's uh, do a little dissection here. We have a quite a long stick. What else do we have? Ah, oh my, oh, just kidding, I got you. We got a big old nest up in her. Hopefully there's nothing in here alive. Bunch of leaves. I want to see carnage. All those codes we had, the lighting codes, the BCM codes, that was going to be definitely from the plow uh, when you switch back and forth from the module. Okay, so here we have number three. Number three, ignition coil, power, and control to the PCM. Ah, I can't do it with my nail. I don't got any. Um, let's take this off. They chewed that thing right, right down. Oh, let's see if I got it. Oh, I, I did. Yeah, they chewed that sucker right down. All right, we got three pin, but only two wires. So we're gonna do a little connector dependent because that's not gonna come with two wires. It'll be three. So we want to make it make it right. But we also have uh, this guy intake manifold I don't know what that is a solenoid intake manifold runner solenoid maybe let's see if I can get this connector off oh got it little blue little blue connector so we're definitely gonna be looking at some pigtails where is the other end of that wire let's see all right it's right here I see some more as I'm moving along okay there's that one if I keep moving over here, here is the tack motor. This is the throttle actuator control motor. Let's get this off. This is hella cr critter damage. Ouch. This is hella critter damage uh, on this guy. This is going to be kind of tough to get off here because I can't use the harness as a tether to pull it off. That connector is totally wasted. All right, Let's see if I can hit this button now. Uh, got it. All right, let's take a look at this bad boy. Look at that. Chewed all of them, all six of them. PCM is pretty much shorted out on these circuits so that's going to be kind of a a chore to do i don't uh for six wire repairs that's going to be you know kind of odd with the harness i want to you know make this look as factory as possible so i don't want to make look the harness i don't want to make the harness look like it's having a baby so what else did we get we got the coil have these three connectors including the coil uh, what else do we have down here can we can we take a look over here just a bunch of leaves it looks oh, like yeah. oh, here's some more shrapnel top of the shock tower very interesting to say the least it definitely looks like somebody has been in here before though because that wasn't 
tethered where it should be. Get the rest of these leaves out. I mean, I'm I'm most certain that this is the problem. Definitely, uh, them rodents. Not only oh, maybe we got a spark plug wire here too. Oh yeah, look at that. Let's see if I can zoom in. Yeah, see that spark plug wire? See how kind of chewed on that looks like? Yeah, so we'll replace that. That goes to number four. Uh, what else do we have? I think so far that's maybe it. Just those vacuum lines. These guys right here. Where the hell did they go? Oh, I see them. They just fell down. Okay. Looks like those are going back behind the uh, intake. There's a, a ball, a black ball right there. If you can see them, I'm, I'm pointing on it right here. There's uh, rubber lines going to them. There's two of them. Um, looks like that's for the intake manifold runner vacuum solenoid, uh, vacuum uh, reservoir, I should say, um, or servo. And then this is the actuator that supplies both of them with vacuum from the intake manifold. So we'll have to get some of those rubber hoses. Um, but that's it. Uh, let me know if you guys have ever had rodent damage like this on your Super Duty. More uh, crevice, more uh, crevice here on the gasoline because on the 6.7 version, there's not really a whole lot of room that you can squeeze your rodent body in. But uh, yeah, this is 6.2 2017 with 30 something thousand miles on it let me know thanks so much for watching remember to like comment sub share and i'll catch you guys all next time see you